Yes. Veronica Moss' anxiety inspired her to start the Divergent series. Veronica thought it would help her anxiety if she made a 16-year-old heroine. I think a legion means loyal or faithful. Zoe explains in the book how a slab of stone is a problem we are facing. The tank of water is the potential for changing that problem. The drop of water is what we're able to do. In Chicago, Evelyn is taking control of the city and using our bands, armbands, symbolizing the factionless. In the book, there are factions, and some, in, and some are in real life. For example, there are the poor, the average, and the rich. Also, the rest of the world has destroyed, has been destroyed by chemical warfare. Our world may not be destroyed, but there is still lots of war. Go. Oh. Yes. My book Allegiant is a five star because there is lots of action and each character seems like they can be a real person. The book also has a very good plot. I would like kids around my age to read this because there is a good message and theme. This book would be great for a boy or a girl. Hey, um, the book I read was The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. Um, Nicholas Sparks has written 17 novels, uh, like The Notebook, The Last Song. <laughs> um, nine, <laughs> um, nine of his novels have been filmed. Um, he got inspired to write this book when he came upon a small college in North Carolina called Black Mountain College. The small co college only lasted 25 years, um, and it was so influential to the American art scene, he thought the, co the college was interesting and started to research about it. And then as he was researching about it, he realized that like he came to think about the characters, and that's where he yeah, thought of everything. Um, the title, The Longest Ride, can mean different things to different people. To me, after reading the book, I found that the title meant life is a long journey. I think after reading the book, the title has much more meaning to it. In page two of the book, um, there's this quote, and it says, his voice even now follows me everywhere in this longest of rides, this thing called life. Um, this is symbolism because what it's like saying implies more. And then on page six, it says, I'm in trouble. Beyond the correct windshield, the snow continues to fall, blurry and disorienting. Um, this is where the book first begins in its imagery. I would read the book five stars because like throughout the whole book he keeps you interested and it doesn't get boring and you always want to read it because it's like you always want to find out what happens next. <laughs> and then um, people who would want to read this book would be like teens, young adults because it's kind of like a love story. Yeah. Okay, people who can connect to the book The Longest Ride are people who like had the same thought that life is a long journey. The book I read was John Green. John Green is known for the popular novel about North Star. He has always wanted to be an author. He realized the books, book list reviewed were written by someone and maybe he could be like them. When I saw the title Looking for Alaska, I thought it was about the state. But after reading the book, I know that it's about a girl named Alaska. The title can mean all different things to different people. But to me, I think it means that even though Alaska is gone, they will still be two different people. But to me, I think it means that even though Alaska is gone, they will still love her and still love her. You can find the liter literary element, symbolism, and conflict. An example of symbolism is, if people were afraid, I was in Jerusalem and she was a hurricane. This is symbolism because it means more than it's saying. An example of conflict is, I was caught in a love triangle, one dead end. He can't help his feelings for two different people, so it's conflict man versus himself. People can connect to this book if they've ever lost a best friend. I give the book five stars because it was interesting throughout the whole thing. I love reading about how they pull pranks on each other. I recommend this book for teenagers because this is about three best friends who are having college and their wild experiences. You should my book, it's really good. <laughs>